Hello. I thought I would try something a little bit different tonight and kind of review my makeup collection. It's not a huge makeup collection. In fact, some of it's in like cases all over the house, all over the bathroom. So this is what I use primarily though. Um, in fact, this is one of the more expensive things I've ever bought. The Tarte Showstopper palette. Um, it has a blush, see? And then it has the bronzer and the highlighter, which is almost gone. Um, it's got all these one, two, three, four, five, six shades of eyeshadow. I use these three together the most, obviously. That one's the best. Um, it's my favorite. Nor do I use these three the most. I don't use that one very much. The light one, see? It's pretty light. And I'm pretty fair, so. Um, but that's that one. And then, let's just do eyeshadows first. And then I've got this Bare Minerals palette, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I can, you can pop this part out, which is really neat. Um, so if you just want to take a few with you, and I really like all these shades here. And it, what I like about it too is it shows you, I'll show you on the back, it shows you where to put them. So that's kind of nice. Yellow, it's brown. Oh, that's green actually. Yellow, brown. That's the yellow. See that gold color? It's really pretty. Um, then of course I like the purples. Problem with me in purple, just like with the silvers and the grays, I tend to put a little too much of that on and look like I have somebody talking me in the face. Um, I always throw away the brushes when I don't like them. So you see what I mean? It tells you what the shades are. Shiver 1, Elixir 2, Mystify 3, and then it tells you Base 1, Priest 2, Liner 3. So that's pretty cool that it does that. And then of course it pops out right here too. So that's the Bare Minerals. And then this was one that I like a lot too. The Smashbox, Smashbox on the Rocks Photo Eyeshadow Palette. Um, this one's got some really cool colors too. Um, uh, I've used every one of them. Clearly, again, see, you notice a the theme here. That one, that one is a kind of the uh, neutral tone. I do use the silvers and the grays. Again, I try to make it to where it doesn't look like a sock in the eye. This is one of my favorite colors right here, but it's super dark, and you just have to make sure you don't go crazy with it. Because as you can see from the double mirror here, I am very fair. It's kind of hard to tell, but I like this purple color a lot too. But again, whew, that's a very purple. And blue, I've used blue once or twice, and it looked okay. Like I'm not really a blue eyeshadow wearer, but it looked pretty good. But anyway, you'll notice they've got some shimmer in them. There's not a lot of matte going on here. Some are, but there's got a lot of shimmer in it. So I don't know about that. Uh, but I like it. And then I've got Maybelline, the nudes. I tend to go towards more of a nude, nude palette because, again, I'm very fair and it seems to work for me. So, But I like that. And, uh, again, you can kind of see the colors I use the most. Um, I try to use them all, but some of them just don't look good no matter what I do. And then there's the blush nudes. This one I like a lot, too. Um, I, I let my daughter borrow it. She clearly likes the pink. Um, but this one also comes, both of the nudes, they come with a color, like an idea on how to use it. Unfortunately, I'm blind and I can't read it, so <laughs> I don't bother. Um, anyway, so that's most, that's most of the eyeshadow that I use the most. Um, this is Color Molten. I've never even, well, I've opened it, but I don't think I've ever used it. It's, that is iStudios Maybelline. It's by Maybelline iStudios. Um, I don't know if, I hope you can hear me. I don't know if you can hear me very well or not, but, but luckily this, I really like this. I've used several concealers over time and I love the Age Rewind. This one is really, really awesome. I've got some spots, well, you can't see because the camera's turned towards me, turned towards the but I've got a few spots on my face that are darker than the rest of it and cover them right up. I love it. Then I also use this concealer here, the NYX CC Cream Color Correcting, because I've got a lot of redness. If you see my previous videos, I've got a lot of redness in my face and my eyelids always look super white, which is weird. And then I got this in an Ipsy bag, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now I have to say, it's good. It is good mascara. Better than sex? Don't know about that, but it's good mascara. And then I've got the Tarte, I got this in a palette, I think too. Tarte Tartiest, Tarte Tartiest, yep. And I've got the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which is another thing I heard about from, oh, what is her name? Kate Bryant from the Small Things blog. And I have a set of eco tools. Now, these eco tools, I've seen them on YouTube recently. I've had these for several years. I've had these for, oh, I couldn't even get to tell you, probably four or five years. I got them at Ulta like four or five years ago. I like them a lot. They're good brushes. Um, I have a really big brush too. Hold oh, on one second. And now, oh, and now for the facial stuff, because that's all eyeshadow. I, I always tend to do my eyes first because make eyeshadow can fall out, like fall onto your face. And I'm over here making hand motions like you can actually see me. I'm such a retard. Um, probably shouldn't say retard, that's not cool. Um, but anyway, this is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion, or Lumi Cushion by L'Oreal. Um, I like the applicator a lot, and the actual makeup is pretty good too. Let's see, pop that open, dab, dab, dab. 
wipe, 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 whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't get too excited about the facial makeup stuff because sometimes I think that actually makes me look a little bit older because sometimes it settles into the wrinkles. But I try not to let that happen. And then I've got setting powder. Is it setting powder? I don't know what the frick it's called. Um, pardon my lingo. It is Sephora. My It's actually Sephora brown, which I actually like the Sephora browns. Those are just as good to me as any other brand, really. Um, micro smooth finishing powder. I guess it's a finishing powder. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, then I've got this too. I got this in a Nipsey bag. It is a combo bronzer. I thought it was eyeshadow at first, but it's bronzer and highlighter. But that highlighter is a little too dark for me, I think. I'm pretty, like I said a zillion times. The thing I like about the Tarte stuff is the packaging. Packaging is really cool. It's all kind of like snakeskin, you'll notice. Snakeskin. Pretty cool. Um, then, well, this is actually the first thing I put on. It's Ulta Fabulous Face. It's a face primer. Not even really sure what it does. I think it's just supposed to make it. Uh, let's see. Fabulous Face Foundation Primer is formulated to smooth out pores and fill in lines. Yeah, it doesn't exactly do that, but it helps. And then there's this guy, the NYX CC Cream Color Correcting, because I've got a lot of red in my skin. And this, I don't know if I mentioned this on this recording because I had to redo the recording, so I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but if so, I'm sorry. The, um, is that Maybelline? Hold on. Can't see. <laughs> Maybelline Age Rewind Age Rewind Concealer. This is one of the best concealers. As you can see, I use it a lot. I love it. Best concealer I've ever, ever used in my life is this one. It is excellent for the eyes. It's excellent for covering dark spots. I'm fair, but I'm, you know, I spend a lot of time in the sun. And I use as much sunblock as I can, but when I was a kid, I wasn't so careful. My mom tried, but I wasn't always so careful with it. So anyway, this is a really good, I apologize if I'm repeating myself. I tend to do that. Um, and then there's, of course, the Tardiest Mascara. Again, I think I might be repeating myself there too. My, This is a blending brush. I don't really get too into the brushes. I don't really care as long as they work. That's a blush brush. And I have another brush that I'll show you too. Um, this is for that big powder. I use this just to... You know, well, I'll show you in a minute, I guess. Okay, so that's the most, that's what I use primarily. I think I said that is the most I use. And the, um, they all usually come with these palette guides, like this here, like palette guides, which really do help because you'll notice the purples and the reds here don't look like someone socked her in the eye to where when I use them, they look like somebody socked me in the eye. It's really weird. Um, oh, and this, this is one of my favorite things. This is the MAC Painterly, wait, is it? Here it is. Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. This is an eyeshadow primer, and I never really use eyeshadow primers until I saw this, because I'm like, who cares? It's eyeshadow, you just use foundation. But apparently, and yeah, I have used this, and it's really good. I mean, it's really, and it's not tacky or sticky, so it doesn't stick. But um, this is the brush I use for, um, lots of <laughs> brushes are embarrassingly dirty. I need to clean them really bad. Um, but that's most of it. I mean, there's some other little things in there that I've gotten from Ipsy, and um, eyeliners. I don't really use eyeliner all that much. I have a lot of them, but I don't use them because I'm not really very good. I know my caboodle carrier is not funny. I have like a teenager's freaking makeup bag, but I don't care. It was cheap. So anyway, that's most of my makeup, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this part. Okay, moving on to hair and other beauty products. Um, I have a Biolage uh, shampoo and conditioner, which I really like. It's uh, for hair color. It's... Um, Color, let's see what it says. Color Last, thank you, Color Last. Um, my daughter uses Pantene. That works really well on her hair for some reason. And this is what I use on my face to wash it. Oil of Olay, or I'm sorry, Olay. It's not Oil of Olay anymore, it's Olay. Regenerous Regenerating Cream Cleanser, exfoliates and speeds for cell regeneration. And I use this pure silk to shave with. <laughs> 99 cent store, just saying. 99 cent store, awesome stuff. My daughter washes her face with the Cetaphil. Or she uses the Clean and Clear to help with her skin. I bought this Visible Suave Visible Glow. I know it's not some fancy expensive kind. I haven't used it yet, so I'll give it a try. Um, I don't know about self tanners. Oh look, sunblock. I was looking at that earlier. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what sunblock is. That's always helpful. Um, these are a few of the other things I like to use. Obviously, I'm not see my other toilet. That's gross. Um, Paul Mitchell Extra. Oh, there's my girl over there. Paul Mitchell Extra Body Sculpting Foam, which is essentially mousse. Call something fancy, it's still mousse. Um, Kenra Volume 25 Hairspray, which is essentially hairspray, but it's pretty good. I like it. Um, and this is the Aquage Uplifting Foam. You basically spray this on your roots. Let me see if there's something there. There we go. <laughs> you basically spray it on your roots and then you fluff your roots up and then you, you do that like 
like here and here and it like kind of gives your hair some texture, I guess she said. Uh, again, that's the small things blog I got that from. And I've got other stuff in here I haven't used yet, you know, so I can't really talk on it because I haven't used it. But anyway, those are the beauty products I like. I picked up this makeup remover, Neutrogena makeup remover, which is pretty good. That's no different than the crap I get from the 99 cents. Oh, there's my wall. Isn't that pretty? Um, my daughter uses this deodorant, so I don't really want her to use the kind that has the aluminum in it. I probably shouldn't use that either, but... And this is my shirt that I'm wearing today. Choose Your Path, Las Vegas, and these shorts that are fairly too short. Ugh, my sister's going to get the 90s, you know, I always complain about my shorts being too short because I have got cellulite, but that's a complaint for another day. There we go. Let's see. Let's be real for a second. Cellulite. Can't see it that way, but it's there. Trust me. It's not pretty. Anyway, um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this part off. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All the beauty products that I like the most. Um, the makeup, the stuff that I like and that I use. I told you it's not a lot. I don't have, I'm not a beauty blogger that's got a ton of beauty stuff. Oh, that's much better. That's got a ton of beauty stuff. Um, I like, I mean, I like what I like and that's it. You know, I don't need a ton. I do need some new lipsticks. I didn't show you those because <laughs> I don't have any that are really good. I need some better ones. And when I get new lipstick or new makeup or anything like that, I'll definitely share if anyone's interested. Um, and my earbuds, oh, they're always on. They're like a fashion accessory. Um, anyway. I'm not going to do a whole long video. I'm worn out now. <laughs> Surprisingly tiring. I don't know why, but I don't usually make videos like that. It was hard to do because I have a cell phone. That's what I've got. I don't have a camera set up or anything like that. Maybe if I ever make more videos or get more in-depth in it, then maybe I will. But right now I don't. So do I think by my cell phone. Anyway, uh, not a lot went on today. I've saved my day off. I did go running with my sister, which was fun. Well, all right, let's be realistic. We ran the first mile and a quarter. Then we walked. But we were moving pretty quick. We weren't strolling. We were walking at a decent pace, so it was okay. You know, so, but, you know, it was fun. It was nice to actually just be able to hang out and talk to each other and not to each other and all the kids at the same time. You know, have a private conversation where we could pretty much talk about anything and not worry about, did the kids hear that? Did the kids hear that? So, you know, I told you about my face. See all the redness? That's why I use a color correcting cream. All that redness and the concealer. You see that big old freckle right there? Whatever that age spot. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that Maybelline concealer covers, and I'm, again, I, not that they would, but I'm not being paid by any of these people to say this. This is just what I like. But that Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer is amazing. Love it. And again, not being paid by anybody. Um, see, and I got this, like, spot right here, too. I don't know where that came from all of a sudden, which is why I wear my hair like that most of the time. Um, but that concealer works on that really well, too. I think I've discussed my roots. And you see why I use the Biolage? It's such good shampoo. It works so well. Um, makes my hair, like, super soft. I mean, I literally have to put hairspray in it and mousse and stuff like that to curl it because it makes it super soft, which is good. I mean, you want soft hair. You don't want brassy hair. Anyway, uh, let's see. What did I do? I, I went running with my sister. That's pretty much the extent of my day. No church for the girls, so they've been home all day. Um, they went outside and played for a while. Sierra ran the mile, and she took three minutes off her time. Good job. They see ran the mile. She didn't end up running the mile today. I guess they skipped it, but I guess I'll do it. I think she said Friday, but um, which is day after tomorrow. But Sierra took three minutes off her time. Good for her. That's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm thinking I might start doing fewer videos. Maybe not a daily video, daily vlog or whatever. Maybe two or three times a week. Maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Maybe do Fit by Falls when I actually run. Not when I work out, but when, when I run or work. Whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, my sister's kind of redoing her New Year's resolution on June 1st. I think I might just join her and do the same thing. A new, a mid-year's resolution, <laughs> although June 1st isn't technically mid-year, I think it's like July something, but I figure January 1st is seven months away from June 1st, so that's pretty good, it gives me plenty of time, but I wanted to get fitter by, well, fit, or at least fitter by fall, because that's when I go to Palm Springs, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, and I will see you guys later, hope you have a good rest of your week, and if you like my videos, click like and subscribe, if you don't, that's fine too, I will see you guys later, bye.